and welcome to this AutoVista Group video. I'm Daily Brief journalist Tom Gegus. From the humble beginnings of Ford's mass production Model T, cars have only gotten smarter. Advanced drive warning systems, connectivity platforms and mapping applications are but a handful of examples of modern automotive technology. But what component do many of these digital systems all have in common? Well, the answer is semiconductors. These computer chips act as building blocks for new automotive breakthroughs. As vehicles transition from mechanical masterpieces to digitally driven gadgets, semiconductors have become essential. This means any disruption to this component supply chain could prove to be a nightmare for car makers. Unfortunately, this is exactly what has come to pass. In January, Ford suspended production at a plant in Germany for roughly a month. This impacted the manufacturing of the Ford Focus for Europe. VW, meanwhile, confirmed the need to adjust production in the first quarter of 2021, impacting some of its facilities in China, North America and Europe. Models based on the MQB platform belonging to VW passenger cars, VW commercial vehicles, Skoda, Seat and Audi were all affected. Murad Axel of VW Group said, We are now feeling the effects of the global semiconductor bottleneck. We are doing everything in our power to minimise lost production and to ensure that normal deliveries to customers can be resumed as rapidly as possible. Audi confirmed it had furloughed 10,000 workers due to chip shortages slowing down production lines. It does hope to keep production losses at under 10,000 units in the first quarter of this year. Component manufacturers Continental and Bosch also issued cautions over a semiconductor shortage. Nissan confirmed it would have to scale back production of its Note hatchback. Fiat Chrysler slowed plants in Canada and Mexico. Daimler said it was affected, and Honda cut output by roughly 4,000 cars in Japan. But where did this problem begin? The automotive industry watched its sales slump through 2020 due to COVID-19. Meanwhile, other industries like consumer electronics felt a real surge in demand as people invested in new home entertainment systems, for example. This meant semiconductor suppliers reassigned capacity to meet that fresh demand. But as car makers attempt to come back with an increased focus on electromobility, suppliers of semiconductors have run short. To try and tackle this issue, Governments are stepping into the fray. Germany recently reached out to the Taiwanese government, urging it to lean on its country's semiconductor manufacturers for additional capacity. This comes amid parallel plans to shorten supply chains, bringing manufacturing of essential parts closer to Europe. In August last year, Germany's government outlined financial backing of a battery cell factory in Sweden. For car makers to have any kind of recovery from the pandemic, supply chains must see a capacity boost in the short term, as plans to localise productions are carried out in the medium and long term for future efforts. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please feel free to drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also, sign up for the AutoVista Group daily brief email at autovistagroup.com forward slash sign up. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you next time.